the Jamera, a new type of megacar. It's all about enjoying the experience together. I thought it was possible to create a mid-engine two-seater car feel, but to have four full seats for four full grown-ups with no compromise. It should be a mid-engine two-seater feel. It took years to figure it out, and we had to be super innovative with drivetrain, layout, design, to make it happen, to avoid compromise. Since you last saw it, we've taken it to the next level. And today we're going to present the production version. In 2020, we introduced the Jamira, our first four-seater hyper or mega car, as we call them. A completely novel idea to anything out there in the world. We wanted to take the mid-engine two-seater experience and extend it to four persons and add practicality, bigger luggage space, more features and functions but removing nothing of the super sports experience you get from this level of car. That was a huge undertaking and we had to innovate new types of drive trains, new types of technologies, just to make it packaged in the right way and to give the driver and the passengers the right feel. And also to give the car the right look. It should look like a two-seater mid-engine sports car, but fit for fully grown persons. So during the development program in the Jamira, we said to ourselves, what if? What if we can squeeze in this super compact, small transmission into a four wheel drive unit in the Jamira model and simplify some other aspects instead? As we would then have gears, we can reduce the electric propulsion a bit and reduce the size of the battery a bit and make the car lighter and more exciting and make the engine more free revving as we can reduce the flywheel mass and the clutch mass on the engine as those are all inside the LST transmission. But this type of transmission didn't really fit with the engine until we came up with what we call the tourbillon version of this transmission where we wrap it around the engine so we can fit the engine and the transmission more in the same space. We could then keep the prop shaft going forward in carbon fiber and a torque tube and then have a bigger electrical motor on the torque tube instead. But we needed more power in electrification or in the electrical motor if we only had one motor. So hence, we came up with the dark matter, the bigger brother of the Quark e-motor, the world's most torque and power dense e-motor. We're talking about 800 horsepower and 1,250 newton meters from one e-motor. It features our Raxial Flux technology that we patented for the Quark e-motor, but it now has six phases. It's the world's first six-phase e-motor for automotive use. That's why we can make it so compact and so powerful. And now we only need one. So we have the 600 horsepower TFG, three-cylinder free valve engine combined with 600 newton meters of torque. And then we add on top nine gears, so we're always in the correct power band, and we get augmentation by the 800 horsepower, 1,250 newton meters dark matter e-motor. The car is capable of running in e-motor mode on all four wheels simultaneously, or on the front axle or on the rear axle with full torque vectoring. The same goes for the TFG. You can run it directly on the rear axle through its transmission and also on the front axle or in combination with the dark matter. It's all about which driving mode you're in. So here we're talking about a car with over one megawatt of power that now is lighter than the version we showed first. And you're always in the right power band. So even though the power is slightly less, 
the car performs even better and has even faster acceleration. But given the LSTT, the light speed turbulent transmission, we saw something we could not unsee. So in our CAD systems, we took the incredibly fast revving, exciting twin turbo Yesco V8 and tried to squeeze it into the Jumeirah, something we thought would be impossible. And it actually didn't fit exactly perfect because the exhaust systems on the side of the engine had a little bit of a conflict with the transmission area. But when we looked at turning that around and making a hot V version of the Esco, it fit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So suddenly here we have a nine speed, four wheel drive, four wheel torque vectoring, 800 horsepower electric, 1500 horsepower combustion engine V8 that can run on renewable fuel with a combination of 2,300 horsepower and 2,850 newton meters of torque. Unheard of numbers, especially in a car that weighs substantially less than two tons. Fitting for full grown-ups. Fitting for full-size carry-on bags at the back of the car. It's just mind-boggling. And we would never have believed we could achieve this at the get-go. It's like one thing leading to another, absorbing technology from the Yesco program and rewrapping the engine bay into something completely new to create just an unbelievable version of the Jumeirah. So we just could not unsee that. So now we have two versions. We have the three-cylinder TFG with 1,400 horsepower, and we have the HV8 version the hot V8 with nine speed transmission, four wheel drive with 2,300 horsepower and 2,850 newton meters of torque. Making this four seater car the fastest car ever produced in acceleration, beating most two seater cars on a racetrack due to its four wheel drive system, four wheel torque vectoring, fantastic aerodynamics. And given that we could reduce the size of the electrical propulsion system, we now have a fuel tank with over 100 liter capacity, the world's largest fuel tank. So you have this enormous range to enjoy the creature comforts and the function systems, the infotainment systems, the hot and cold <laughs> cup holders, which are a work of art in themselves. You can have a milkshake next to a hot coffee for hours enjoying themselves, ready for you to consume. That's just, of course, a little side thing, but it's a fun thing for a car like this. So we're really trying here to have the cake and eat it and to offer you all an experience never seen before. Enjoy the Jumeirah.